Hello beautiful and handsome Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel and this is a hummingbird tarot and today I'm going to be channeling energy for you um, for this December uh, and into the new year 2023. Although this is a timeless reading so whenever you land here this uh, message is meant for you. There's something here so um, <clears throat> just keep listening because there is something for everybody who um, decides to click on this video. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get started with some tarot to see what is going on for um, this time that you have come to this video. But for the ones coming now, this is for the December and the New Year energy coming in. Okay, Sagittarius, what's going on? Okay. So we have the Hermit reversed. Let's see what else. So are you feeling isolated right now, Sagittarius? What's going on? Page of Cups reversed. Emotional. Somebody has disappointed you, perhaps. Oh. Mm. Okay, so four of wands in reverse as well. So what is going on for you, my dears? Ace of swords in reverse. And the two of swords in reverse. Okay, so... I'm feeling like something's happened in a relationship for you guys. Um, and you're feeling this uh, distance um, from others, um, perhaps like even lost your way in this relationship. Um, there's emotional immaturity going on maybe with you or uh, the, uh, the person that you are dealing with and um, I'm just feeling like there's some conflict going on a lack you're not get, being, getting support the support that you need from this person um, communication has been breaking down for you um, yeah so this is moving forward into this you know you're not able to be in your own personal power right now because of the chaos that has been brought by this relationship that has come into your life um, through this relationship or this could be um, a situation that you're dealing with here um, there's just this chaos um, uh, you're rethinking um, things and um, you know just really you don't know which way to turn here with the two of swords in reverse as well. You know, you are you feel like you have to choose between the lesser of two evils and neither one of these choices that you have to make right now um, are, you know, what you would like to choose. So you're feeling like stuck between a rock and a hard place here. A lot of confusion um, and just feeling a lack of support from others in your life. So let's see what else is going on. Let me pull some more tarot here to see what else is going on and why you're going through this. Okay, Spirit, why is this person feeling um, a loss of emotional connection, disappointment with a person? Okay, um, there has been kind of this breakdown of a three of pentacles. This could be work related, um, a lack of working together, a lack of communication, perhaps. Um, okay, so now we're getting a lot of pentacles. Wish fulfillment, a breakdown of your wishes in this situation. money, abundance, 
Like you're not getting the wishes. Um, you're not getting what you um, were promised in the situation. Um, I'm not going to do the reversal for the Ace of Pentacles for this. Um, in this deck. So with the Ace of Pentacles, I'm feeling like, um, gosh, all these Pentacles here. So this might be more about work for you, Sagittarius, than a relationship. Although this could be a partner that you do work with. Uh, this Three of Pentacles here. So this collaboration, there's a breakdown of this collaboration. And people aren't doing what they said that they were going to do. Leaving you in this place of disappointment, stress, um, confusion, uh, feeling isolated, not supported. Um, and it's affecting your the, your opportunity, um, your opportunity to move forward in this situation. But what I am seeing here, which is positive, is this is bringing you into new opportunities. This situation is breaking down because there are new opportunities for you. What other um, advice, Spirit, please? Here you have the Hierophant in reverse. Uh, not in reverse, I'm sorry, Hierophant um, coming out here. So um, old ways of thinking, um, old uh, sort of uh, establishments in your life are breaking down right now. Um, perhaps you're seeing things in a new perspective here um, and getting some clarity and rethinking things, a new idea, a new plan, a new, but with the Hierophant, it's kind of like foundational, this foundational energy um, about how you see things, the way that you do things, um, institutions, um, breaking down what's not working there here. Um, you have the key to, um, to clarifying a new path for yourself. Oh, wow. And uh, I have a few cards that popped out here. Um, let's see. Am I feeling like these are for you? Um, let's put those aside. I think there is a message here for you with that. But let's get to that in a moment. Okay. So what else is going on here? Uh, as a solution to this problem spirit or okay wow okay so you will be having victory the things of the past are falling away here like these sticks um, these wands uh, laying down in the darkness and the rainbow is coming up so there's a purpose that something here has fallen apart um, it's to allow this new beginning, these new opportunities um, to come into your life, whether this be a relationship with somebody or in your business, a partnership, what else? So you're having victory. You're having, you're, this is falling away from your life for a purpose to bring in a new opportunity. Um, yes, yeah, here. And then we have the two of pentacles. Um, Something is being reborn in your life, like with a butterfly here and the infinity and the two pentacles. Um, this is being reborn, the situation, um, this job. You're going to be seeing things in a new way, doing things in a way that is more suitable for you. Perhaps somebody here was more in control and left you hanging here. Um, also, I am seeing that remaining flexible um, in this and not um, being not letting this carry you away into anxiety or stress um, because you having that flexibility and trying to find the joy in this rebirthing process is going to bring lots of hope light at the end of the tunnel new connections that are going to be beneficial for you that are going to resonate for you um, that are, you're going to see things on the same level here, even if this is a relationship that has been breaking down here. Um, a new This is making way for a new love to come into your life, a better connection, um, a soul connection here that is um, less karmic, um, less combative perhaps. 
you're going to see things on eye to eye. Um, and the mother of wands here is stepping out of those fears of this change happening. Um, having that charismatic nurturing energy um, for yourself and for the situation. Like you see the snake, you know, she's really, she's caring for her eggs, you know, and this, she's going to be birthing new things um, into your life, you know, passionate, creative, um, charismatic. Um, these are the new connections I see coming in um, where you have been feeling isolated, alone. Um, you know, it's not, you're not going having this inner journey. This something was yanked away from you here um, by somebody who meant a lot to you. Um, either this is a like a very a passionate, a loving relationship, a, a husband, a wife, um, or a partnership in business. Because with all these pentacles here, and this collaboration, and your wishes being dashed here, this page of cups, you know, this there's this insecurity and disappointment, um, emotional um, upheaval here, and that that has dashed your hopes and dreams here for the future. But um, the, you should be celebrating. You should be having this great time um, and inner harmony. But this is this has been a time of conflict with this person or situation. This lack of support, a breaking down of these communications here. But this is opening you up to this new beginning, new opportunity that is coming your way, Sagittarius. So please don't lose hope. Um, if this is your situation, my heart goes out to you. Um, this is really going to be difficult and challenging, but you're having this rebirth. This is, thing is falling away from your life right now because something is coming in that is more aligned with your spirit, your soul's purpose. So that falling away, this, this can be really difficult, but it's all opening you up to new ways of doing things, things, doing things your way here and with the support of others that are going to see these things in your way um, work with you in um, your soul's purpose to bring in whatever this new relationship is or um, this new um, endeavor work endeavor um, your soul's purpose whatever that is for you um, like I said I felt a lot of um, the, this energy it was in a relationship like I said, maybe a partnership, um, but I'll leave that up to you guys to take what resonates for you in this situation. Okay, so let's get some more um, cards to see whether what other energy is working in your life right now. Um, it's a hard time of year for this kind of upheaval too. If this is if this is uh, resonating for you, Sagittarius. So my like my like I said, my heart is really going out to you right now. Um, so maybe you have been feeling a loss of energy because um, you know this is taking a lot of your energy. Don't let it take your energy here. Um, Ace of Swords, your personal power here, because that was reversed. Um, it's been taking a lot of your personal power away from you. Doing self care, doing things to bolster your energy right now is going to help you. Um, really bring in this new energy and then we have imagination so you using your imagination like i said because you're carving a new way of doing things you're really you know making a a, a a niche that was missed before or um like i said you're stepping away from the traditional way of doing things and you're going to be making your own path here um, so using your imagination, um, tapping into your imagination um, is really going to help um, bring this into your life quicker. You know, so keep that imagination going and by um, doing things that bring you more energy instead of draining your energy, um, doing that self-care, doing a daily regimen where you are doing things to help your energy levels, whether that be... Um, you know, you know, doing a physical practice, going out in nature, walking, um, you know, changing your diet, where you're you're taking better care of what you're eating, um, you know, mindfully eating things that aren't making you feel 
um, blocked and um, your digestion blocked, things like that that will help, you know, your energy levels because then um, tapping into that imagination, you know, you can't really be, you can't really be in that mode if your body is in a low energy mode. You can't really um, spark your imagination and get these new beginnings started in your life. Okay, so I'm going to get some love cards. This can be about uh, another person. This could be about self-love. Just whatever you need, um, whatever resonates for you. Take that how it resonates for you, please. Okay, so I have cards that are upside down here in this card too. But Okay, let's see. What else for Sagittarius? For love, unconditional love healing, whatever that is for Sagittarius. You can get some clear messages for them in the situation, this person in their life. Okay. Okay. So trust. I'm feeling like in the situation that there has been this lack of trust and the ability to trust. So Spirit is just reminding you to trust in this process. Even though it's hard, this process is happening because um, Spirit is clearing out um, things that are no longer serving you um, so that you can um, have a new beginning here. So trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. So accepting the situation for what it is that it's clearing the old out to so that you can um, begin this new opportunity that I see here in your cards. So acceptance, accept this the situation that this is karma playing out, um, and the things that you know in your past, the things that this person has done or this situation has been, is. Um, once you can accept that this happened, and this is not um, anything against you, this is uh, a path that this other person that has left you feeling out in the cold um, is dealing with on their own, and then they're going to be dealing with it in their own karma. Um, so have that acceptance. Learn to forgive the situation. Um, and once you can do that, this will automatically transform uh, into something, um, like I said here, beautiful over here. So trust that this situation um, is moving you to a better place. And time, you are trying too hard. Give this situation time. Give yourself time to heal. There's this divine timing here at play and things are going to unfold here uh, with that divine timing at play. So know that, trust in that, um, Doing a daily practice also with tapping into your spirituality um, is also going to revitalize your energy and imagination as well. Okay, so for Sagittarius, let's see what else is going on for your animal energy. I'm going to go through this deck one time, Spirit. Um, whatever animal energy that Sagittarius needs to tap into, please give us precise messages for the ones that need it here. Um, what animal energy? Okay. Wow. So that, oh my gosh, That's, that is amazing. Okay. So you have the crocodile and the phoenix. So the crocodile is all about this stillness, this quiet place, you know, he sits in stillness and waits for things to come to him um, and having this deep awareness of that stillness and rest. So um, that crocodile energy is also water energy. So it's also stillness in your emotional body um, that will help you in your transformation here. Um, resting, um, col collecting your energy here, like I said, cooling off from any sort of conflict that I have, that have seen here. So cooling off, you know, and even in this energy of the crocodile, he is a dangerous creature lying in wait here. And that's not saying that you're dangerous, but by cooling off, by resting, 
by um, submerging yourself in um, and nurturing your emotions here with this situation, you are going to become become more powerful here. Um, so, and and it, and it, you're going to be accumulating wisdom with um, that being in that quiet wait, waiting kind of phase in your life here. And this is obviously bringing you the situation. You're going to be rising from the situation like a phoenix um, from the ashes. This thing has burned and you are going to soar. You're going to soar in your own personal power. Um, you're going to be flexible. You're going to have victory. You're going to be changing the way that things are going to be um, done in this field. Um, just really forging ahead something new, something that hasn't been thought of before. And you're going to have the people to collaborate with. And you're nurturing this now within you. If you know that or not, this is being nurtured inside of you right now. And it's just waiting to come out. So trust this process. You are the phoenix rising from the flames. Just lie and wait because spirit is going to move you forward in this um, time you're trying too hard. Have acceptance for this process. You know what to do here. Um, gain wisdom. Gain that um, that spirit, like a flexibility, and, and and waiting for the right time to really pounce on a situation here. So rest, heal from the situation, and you're going to be reborn. Like I said, there's transformation all over your reading here. Um, and you're going to, you're going to come out looking fabulous, gorgeous, handsome. The person who's, um, left you behind, they're going to have terrible karmic situations to deal with here. Um, and you're going to come out looking fabulous with a star. Um, this could bring you fame as well. Um, you're gonna you come out come out looking fabulous. This person's gonna see you and say, "Oh shit, what did I do?" You know, and that's what I'm really seeing here. This is this is the energy that I'm seeing for your reading here. And as hard as it was at first, you were coming out of this golden, um, just absolutely golden and beautiful. Okay, so what else for my Sagittarius? Just a few more cards for you guys. Let's see what else. Okay. Okay. So fluidity. Like I said, with the two of pentacles, look, you're coming out like um, Venus. You're, you're coming out like, uh, I, I am so beautiful, rejuvenated. You have the energy of water with you here, the tapping into your emotions. You got this fire, this fire and water, um, this new creative energy that's coming into your life, passion um, and emotional fulfillment here. And just stay fluid, you know, let these changes happen to you um, and just move like, you know, you're floating on a little boat in the water and it's carrying you automatically to your destination with little effort on your part because like I said you know what you're doing here you have all the tools that you need to make this happen and this is you're coming out it's like you've been washed clean and you're you're really just this beautiful creature like I said this person's gonna say oh my gosh like, look how beautiful, look how amazing, look at the amazing things they're doing. And I could have been a part of it and they're going to be so jealous. Um, I can just say that they're going to look at you and say, what have I done? You know, and um, the last car, I don't know if you're hearing that, but my dogs are freaking out upstairs. <laughs> they're howling. <laughs> so, yes, it's just they um, you're having this this energy, um, this this amazing um, energy here to create whatever you need to create and be a star while you do it. And just take comfort right now. Like I said, the crocodile is um, rejuvenation, wet resting, waiting for the right time here, gaining wisdom on the subject. 
and uh, do it in the comfort of your home. Take pleasure in your home. You beautify your home. Really, this is a perfect time of year here to do it because, I, like I said, I'm doing this in December, um, the beginning of the new year. So really just, um, it's a time to nest and rest and rejuvenate yourself, rejuvenate your energy in this, um, heal from this, um, whatever happened in your life, whether this is a relationship, a partnership, um, a, a business um, that has fallen apart or is in the process of falling apart, take this time to rest, rejuvenate, rejuvenate because in the beginning of the new year, um, I'm feeling like you are going to hit the ground running um, with your new idea and this rest and this time that you have given yourself to heal um, and rejuvenate, you are going to um, just blossom. You're, like I said, you're just going to hit the ground running here and everything is going to fall into place for you. You know, you're going to call, make calls on certain things and that, and things are going to be available. Things are going to be open. You're going to be meeting new people that are going to connect with what you are doing. And like I said, things are just going to start falling into place for you, Sagittarius. So rest, rejuvenate in the comfort of your home with the people that you love that will fill you with what you need to heal from the situation. And, um... This is all I am seeing for you right now. I am wishing you so much love and light. If this resonated for you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have your energy here with me and know how this is going for you. So if this also resonated, please um, leave me a message. Let me know what's going on. Um, I'm wishing you so much love and light for this holiday season. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.